guys, Mr. Backberg here. This is part two of lesson 8.3. Just one objective for this video. We're going to use inverse matrices to solve systems of linear equations. The first thing we're going to look at doing is using our calculator to help us find the inverse of a matrix. So right now we've got a two by two matrix, one, four, negative one, negative three. If I fire up my calculator and go second matrix, let's go over to edit and enter this into matrix A. It was a two by two matrix. So let's enter those values in. We got one, four, negative one, negative three. And then I'm going to second quit out of there. Now we want to find the inverse matrix. So let's go into our matrix capabilities and we'll grab matrix A. Now there is an inverse button on your calculator right here that X with a negative one. That's the button we hit to get to the matrix options. Let's just hit that one, hit enter. There's the inverse of our matrix. If we look at matrix B, it's a three by three matrix, but we can still approach it the same way. So let's go second matrix. I'm going to edit and we'll do this one as matrix B. This one is a three by three matrix. And we've got one, negative one, zero, one, zero, negative one, six, negative two, and negative three. So we enter those values in, go second quit, second matrix, this time we're grabbing matrix B, hit our inverse button, enter, and there is our inverse three by three matrix. So if we're looking at some system of equations, and this equation down below, these all stand for matrices. So A is a matrix, X is a matrix, and B is a matrix. So if A times X equals B, one way we could solve for that X matrix is by taking the inverse of A times matrix B, and that would just tell us what our X matrix would look like. So we've looked at solving systems of linear equations a couple different ways so far. Now we're going to look at it using inverse matrices. So first thing I'm going to do is translate this into a few different matrices. Okay, this matrix on the far left hand side is our coefficient matrix from that system that we were given. So just grabbing all of the numbers in front of the variables. Then we set up this other matrix and this is going to represent our matrix X where we've got these X, Y, and Z variables and then our equals to stuff on the right hand side we're going to turn into another matrix. So this coefficient matrix is going to be our A matrix. Like I said, this variable matrix is our X matrix and on the right hand side that equals to stuff is our B matrix. So what we can do in order to solve this equation is we can take X equals the inverse of our matrix A times matrix B. And I'm going to use my calculator to help me out on this one. First thing we need to do is enter in those matrices. So I'm going to arrow over to edit matrix A. That one was a three by three matrix. And we've got entries four, negative two, three, two, two, five, eight, negative five, negative two. And then we've got this other matrix B. So we'll go to edit matrix B. And this one was a three by one matrix with entries negative two, 16, and four. Now we said in order to solve this, we were gonna take the inverse of A times matrix B. So let's do that. Second matrix A, we'll do the inverse of that, and then multiply our answer by second matrix B. So we get this new three by one matrix, five, eight, negative two. So what this is saying is our matrix X, which was that X, Y, Z matrix is equal to this new three by one matrix that we got, five, eight, negative two. So this is telling us the solutions to this system. Our X value is five, our Y value is eight, and our Z value is negative two. Last example we've got is a little bit of an application type problem. We're doing some investing. We've got $10,000. We're going to invest in AAA bonds, AA bonds, and B bonds. We're hoping to get an annual return of $730 interest. We get interest percents of 6% on our AAA bonds, 7.5% on our AA bonds, and 9.5% on our B bonds. We're going to invest twice as much in our AAA bonds as our B bonds. So what we're going to do is take all of this information, set up a system of equations, and then solve it using inverse matrices. So that first piece of information says that we're investing $10,000 in three different funds. So I'm going to give those funds names, and I'm just going to call them X, Y, and Z. And our total amount that we're investing when we add all that together is going to be $10,000. Now the second part is dealing with interest. It says we get 6% on our AAA bonds. And let's just say that X is our AAA bonds. So as a decimal, we'd write this out 0 0.06 times our X, 
plus, looks like we get 7.5% on our double A's, so maybe that'll be our Y. So 0.075 Y plus we get 9.5 on our B, so 0.095 Z equals, we want $730 in interest. Last thing we know is that we're going to invest twice as much in our triple A bonds as our B bonds. So if we look at those variables, X was our triple A bonds, and that amount is going to be double our B bonds, which we used Z to represent, so X equals 2Z. Now we do need to rearrange this last equation because we want to have our variables on one side. So really this is saying X minus 2Z equals 0. Now I'm going to take all of this information and set up our different matrices. So I'm going to start with that coefficient matrix. So just looking at all of our variables, coefficient matrix will go 1, 1, 1, 0 0.06, 0 0.075, and 0 0.095. Bottom row would go 1, 0, negative 2. So there's our coefficient matrix. Let's set up our x, y, z variable matrix. And then our equals to stuff on the right hand side, we've got 10,730 and 0. So now from here, I'm going to use my calculator to do the inverse matrix stuff. So if we go second matrix, let's edit matrix A. This one is 3 by 3. Across the top row, we've got 1, 1, 1. And then we got 0 0.06, 0 0.075, and 0 0.095. Bottom row is 1, 0, negative 2. Then we'll need to edit matrix B. So we'll arrow over there. Matrix B was a 3 by 1 matrix. And top row was 10,000. Then we had 730. And last row was 0. So now if we quit out of there, remember we want to do the inverse of matrix A. So we'll grab matrix A, hit that inverse button, times second matrix A. B, hit enter, and there's our dollar amounts. We'll invest $4,000 in those AAA bonds, $4,000 in those AA bonds, and $2,000 in those B bonds. That's going to be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below, and thanks for watching.